we're chilling on a couch in the middle of Nipissing when no one else is here in minus 22 with 40 kilometer hour winds. We don't ice fish, we fish. Ba, ba, ba. To the channel. Today we're doing something a little different. We came all the way to North Bay to fish Lake Nipissing. I've never done this. Jesse's never done this. We've been planning this trip for a while. We're planning to camp two full days out here. In this place, I am already in love with it. It is absolutely packed. There's people fishing everywhere. This entire town right now is all about fishing. At the local Circle K, you can get bait. You can get minnows there. It is absolutely incredible, and I am stoked to try and catch my first Lake Nipissing walleye. Also, might get lucky enough to catch a burbot, which I have never caught. We are fully rigged today. We got the quad, we got two full sleds packed completely full with gear. We got two 20 pound propane tanks plus another propane tank, another little five pounder for running and gunning. We brought the big Otter Monster Lodge and then we also have the Otter XD cabin for running and gunning if we're not catching them on the place we set up. Like I said, super, super busy out here. We are, for the first time, we are the odd ones that we're running portable shacks. Pretty much everyone out here does have one of the nice big stationary shelters. One of the luxuries of having a lot more ice than I do back at home. Stick with me, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. This is gonna be an epic adventure. All right guys, we are finally set up in the shack. It was not quite as easy as planned. One of the interesting things that did happen the first time I've ever seen this is when we punched the hole, it actually seemed like the water level was rising. It was about, the water level is actually about an inch more than where the ice level was. So we've left some slush around the hole. That's only temporary. Eventually that's all gonna melt because of the heater and we're pretty much gonna flood this thing. So unfortunately it's not gonna be croc season this weekend, but we did bring boots and we are gonna stay nice and dry when we sleep. So it'll still be plenty comfortable. I'll run you through exactly how we have everything set up. We got a dead stick hole in this corner over here. Then two main holes, well three, one with a live scope, two others, and then another dead stick hole. And then on this side, we have two bunk bed cots, all of our gear tucked away, and then our table for cooking, camera gear, etc. So not only are we ice camping, we did bring something else into it. We got our very own bathroom. We're thinking about punching a hole in it so we can shit and fish. Look at this little bad boy. Heater rigged out. We even got the magazine <laughs> inside. We can punch a hole if we want to. Oh, dude, I think that's a must. It might have to be. You can, not only can you poop in privacy, there's a good likelihood you might catch a fish as you're using the bathroom. That is just one of the nice additions that we added to this year's ice camping list. So overall, it's pretty comfortable. We got a really good system in here. Should be really fun. We had a couple fish come through already. It's only about 3.30 right now, so prime bite is gonna start in about a half hour. We talked to some locals. They said the exact same thing, so we're hoping that bite comes through and hope we can get into a couple, get our first Lake Nipissing walleye. Hopefully there's a night bite here. I've never actually caught a fish at night on the ice. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I actually have something coming in looking at my bait right now. I'm gonna get to fishing. Stick with me. <laughs> what? Just the river. Oh, dude, there's a fish coming in. Oh, Just burned you by. That you can hear it? Pardon? That you can hear it? The river? Oh, yeah, I can hear the river. Oh, there's a fish right on it. Little guy. Oh, dude, there's a lot of fish coming through. He's right on it. He's coming up. There we go, fish on. <laughs> huh. First nipissing fish. Nice little perch. What did that mark look like? Sheesh. Tiny. Yeah. Tiny mark. Tiny fish. Perch if it is. I think that's a walleye, man. Really? Yeah. I would, there, apparently there's like this specific area. There's lots of like smaller size walleye. That was a decent mark. That is a decent mark. Yeah. 
Oh, there's another one coming in from the right yep, too. Yep, yep. Hey, dude, there's fish around. We just gotta figure out what they want. Good thing we got two full days to figure yeah. out what they that, want. That's a perch. Yeah, that one's coming in high too. Should I bring you up to it a little bit? Maybe. That one is really high up. That looks like a perch. Oh, the perch I marked earlier was smaller than that. Oh my god. It's not even... It's almost like scared of the bait. Another drive-by. More fish coming in. Two more fish coming in on the right. Right at your dead stick, too. Really? Yeah, two more fish coming in. I don't know if they're a perch, but... Probably. They look small. They're all over you, though. I don't know if those are perch. Those look like pretty nice marks, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. I'm watching it. There's three of them, actually. Hot on it. He's interested. Moving left. Still right on it, though. Oh, no way. Hit the dead stick. I'm gonna drop it right in the mud and just bang it off bottom. It's right on me. One. Right on me. I think I might move the quad in a minute. Oh, he hit me. Really? Yeah, perch. For sure, a perch. Half a K out. Got stuck in some slush. The sled tipped over. It took. Let's just let's just put it this way. It took us from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. to finally make it 500 yards from the truck. The 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 whole reason I'm calling you. Um, I know you surf a lot. I was wondering if I could borrow a surfboard. <laughs> well, that's yeah. Well, it's a new sport. We created it tonight. So we're, yeah, it's ice surfing. So can I borrow your board? I, I like I already have too much money invested in the hut and the quad. Like I, I'm not trying to buy a board too, you know what I mean? But if you're not using it and you can lend it to me. <laughs> awesome. Alright, deal. So uh, yeah, I will pick that up for you uh, or from you next time before I come to Nipissing again. We think maybe uh, we're set up too far into the basin right now. All we're marking, what we at least what we believe we're marking, is perch. We caught that one perch this evening. That was it. We're cooking dinner. It's about 6.30 now, so I'm cooking one of the most anabolic meals known to man, and that is chicken and rice. So we're going to give it a shot. We're going to try it out. Yeah, it's f***ing delicious. And then tomorrow we're going to wake up, fish f***ing hard. No, no, no. We're going to surf, then fish. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're going to surf because we're in about two inches of water right now. We punch those holes. Water came flooding up. We've never, neither of us have ever had this experience. So we're going to see what tomorrow has in store for us. Yeah. <laughs> really? Well, we're going to rip the bunk bed cots, get a fantastic night's sleep and see what the morning has in store for us. So stick with us. We'll catch you tomorrow morning. And they all about us. Did you let me in a I don't think, other than catching actual fish, it gets any fing better. The setup is dialed. We got the couch, the cots fold down, the bunk bed cots fold down into a beautiful, comfortable couch. Pretty special. Other than the fishing, this is. Couldn't, literally could not be better. That's what we do, man. We don't catch fish. But we fish. We ice fish, exactly. <laughs> we don't catch fish, but we ice fish. My God. Weather's a lot worse than we were expecting. A bunch of water came up in the shack, but we're comfortable. It's freezing out here. It's going down to over 20 below, 22 below this weekend. And the wind is just insane. It's blowing snow everywhere. Thank God we are comfortable in the shack. Definitely not what we were expecting. It's pretty late now. It's quarter after 11. First fish in a while. A long while. A long, long while. 
and it is <laughs> a white fish. All right, you just want to pass me the pliers, I'll get this fish back. There he goes. Good morning, guys. It is 8.30 now. We had an absolutely terrific sleep. Those cots with the little extra four inch foam pad definitely is amazing. We slept right through the morning bite, which is a little unfortunate, but what we did wake up to is something we neither of us have, either, you, neither of us have experienced and it's only getting worse. So we're gonna have to make a move. Our entire shack is flooded with about three inches of water. It is just all the mats are falling apart. This is not our first time ice camping. It's not our first time ice camping, but it's the first time we've experienced this. It almost seems like the water level is higher than where the ice is. I'm not sure if that's common, and I'm not sure if that's why most people around here are running elevated hard shanties, which would make a lot of sense, but <laughs> being new to the area, we honestly have no idea. So we're gonna make a move. We don't know if we're gonna stick on this body water, go somewhere else and just see what we can do. We might throw a line down in the meantime because we really haven't done a ton of fishing on this trip and it would be nice to catch a couple fish for sure. We're sleeping in a live well. Yeah, we're sleeping in a live well. This is what we're working with. It's just having free roam of the shack right now. Just having its time. We can keep it as a pet. Yeah, this would be a perfect pet, man. We can sleep with it. <laughs> there we there. go. Oh, little eye. Oh, Look dude. At that. That is first one of the trip. This is why we decided not to go to Quinny and come to Lake Nipissing, right there. <laughs> Let's stretch that one out, pinch the tail. Oh, dude, that's a solid, solid 12 inch all day. No, I was gonna say that's about a two footer. They say size doesn't matter. Right, get down there. Well, at least that's what my girlfriend tells me. <laughs> All right, everyone, Jesse and I are officially packing up this trip. We decided to call it a day early. The conditions weren't great. Having all that extra water on the ice definitely made it difficult for us to effectively ice camp here. Maybe that's why we haven't seen more people doing it. it seems like most people are in and out on the same day or they're fishing in a hard-sided shack. So definitely no regret coming out, but we spent more, <laughs> more time loading and unloading than we did anything else, but. I feel like we're gonna come back here more so for a day trip. Another time, maybe rent a shack. Uh, the fishing, obviously, was not great. Not for us, at least. We know some people who were catching them. But we just set up pretty much exactly where we landed because we tried to get the quad out to a specific area, but the snow was too deep. We, uh, we definitely came, we thought we came perfectly prepared, but it almost seemed like we weren't quite as dialed as we thought. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.